Okay, so this week's Raw was in front of a relatively hostile Chicago crowd. Wonder why Chicago would be hostile. And we begin with CM Punk's music blaring through the arena. To have Paul Heyman come down and sit CM Punk style. Talk about CM Punk. Then go right and talk about Brock Lesnar. Hype at the Lesnar Undertaker match. Alright. Alright, not bad. Not bad. Daniel Bryan had a match with Dave Batista that had, you know, the massive run-ins from pretty much everybody else and then <clears throat> Batista hit a Batista bomb and then Daniel Bryan got pedigreed so Raw began with CM Punk music playing, Paul Heyman coming down and then Batista, Kane, and Triple H kind of attacking Daniel Bryan so their match really didn't go anywhere <clears throat> the Usos took on the New Age Outlaws again and finally won which was a decent match, an impressive moment you know, all in all not bad <clears throat> Sheamus took on Christian in an okay match Sheamus was one with a bro kick if they want to have these two guys have an actual feud um, Sheamus needs to lose a match to Christian, or others, it's just Christian getting the crap beat out of him repeatedly. <clears throat> Ziggler took on Del Rio, but Ziggler came down with the guy who was from the Need for Speed movie. He might have also been in Breaking Bad, too, as well. Ziggler actually got a win on Del Rio, only because the guy distracted him on the outside of the ring. Not a bad match, you know, overall, pretty, pretty decent work. The Wyatts took on the Shield in a ridiculously amazing match. Rollins did this match that he was in Ring of Honor. Pillar to post, high flying everywhere. Miscommunication on the part of the Shield where Rollins would go for a tag. Either Ambrose and Reigns wouldn't be there because he'd be taking out members of the Wyatts on the outside. Ambrose is going for his tag out. Rollins walks away. Rollins stands on the ramp as he watches Ambrose take Sister Abigail. Just ridiculously fantastic match. Just nonstop. Beautiful, beautiful match. Cesaro took on Biggie Langston. Good match, nice back and forth. There's some fantastic showing of the amount of power Cesaro truly has at his disposal. But Swagger got involved. Which is another two matches later on that night between Swagger and Biggie Langston. And then Cesaro got involved. And they had to hug it out. Okay. Cena talked about the Wyatts, but he wasn't able to wrestle, which was cool. Orton came down to watch the Batista Bryan match, which was fine. <clears throat> the Bellas took on the team of Oksana and Alicia Fox. With the Bellas getting a victory. Eh. Fandango and Summer Rae took on Emma and Santino with Emma hitting the, the Emolution, or I think it's just her version of a, a reverse STF. Nice move, great move, works well. If you didn't see NXT Arrival, watch it to see uh, Emma vs. Paige. Phenomenal match. As well as to watch, the, uh, watch Sami Zayn or El Generico take on Cesaro. Gorgeous matchwork on that. A decent amount of time was spent doing some promo work here, which I thought was kind of bizarre. You know, they tried to do a pretty good job when it came to getting Brian to go in the ring to talk about how he wants to take on Triple H, with H being like, dude, seriously, you're not in my league, I'm not lacing my boots to take you on. <clears throat> and it was like, okay, you know, not, not bad. You can tell they're heavily pushing that. With CM Punk not there, that's pretty much going to be one of your matches. It's going to be Triple H versus Daniel Bryan Mania. Hopefully that match is for if Daniel Bryan wins, he goes on to the main event. Which would be kind of cool to see. But, you know, all in all, the crowd, super hostile. Nobody mentioned CM Punk, with the exception of Paul Heyman. Everyone else kind of just act like he didn't exist. Or they would bring him up and they wouldn't say him by name. 
So all in all, you know, the, the crowd, super into it, made for a really entertaining Raw. They put out some pretty solid match work. Which I think is what they really, really needed to help kind of quell the crowd a little bit. Have people go out there and just put on beautiful matches. So, you know, a decent, decent Raw. I didn't expect CM Punk to show up. Not really surprised they didn't show up. I'm glad they were smart and they didn't put certain people in the ring. I think if you had had Orton have a match, he would have booed out of the building, same with Cena. Cena was booed until he said that he was injured, then he got cheered. I think having the Shield and the Wyatts was a beautiful move. That match had everything. It was a fantastic match. If that is their last match, oh man, that sucks. If they get one more match out of this feud, great. It's like someone went to him and went, alright guys, um, this crowd is pissed. Okay. You six, just do it. What? Go out there, here's like 25 minutes, and just do it. Make your own match. Why is there getting the victory? Because, you know, Bray is going on to take on John Cena. He'll probably lose at Mania. You guys, work your match. It'll be fantastic. You know, beyond that, and some decent promo work, all in all, eh, not a bad Raw. Now, of course, they will be doing a live uh, main event on Tuesdays. They didn't mention they'll be doing live main events streaming on the network for Tuesdays between now and Mania. They've also mentioned that you can be able to catch NXT on Thursdays. In case you didn't know, E currently is... Their contract with ION expired for main event, and their contract with NBC Universal had expired quite a ways a while back. So they're trying to find new places for, for Raw and uh, SmackDown. And they're also kind of doing more live streams on the network to make sure that it works when WrestleMania happens. 